So here's the different user activities and what does this all mean? If I go to edit and I want to see what's actually behind here, as this is looking at those different pieces of information from those log tables. And this is how everything really is generated. So if you want to have a workbook, right, you've got to write those KQL queries. Well, most of these are uh, you can get from templates and there's plenty of uh, other resources out on the Internet to help write these KQL queries. Analytic rules, workbooks, uh, all those incidents, everything really starts with those data connectors and being able to ingest that information into these tables and you can get right at those through the logs. Also those watch lists because then they get kind of turned into um, logs. So let's look at a custom log, right? So we have that um, that ubiquity firewall. And I don't know what's in here, right? So if I'm looking at the logs, I've got all these tables and these custom logs. I can see that it's ubiquity underscore CL for custom log. And it's, it has these uh, columns in there. But I don't really know what's in there. So when I start to look at KQL and start to understand what is in here, I just simply write the name of the table up there. I give it a, let's give it a shorter time frame so we're not just flooding the system with, because you can see that there's already 30,000 results within the last 30 minutes. And here's everything that's in here, time gen.